Hey there, just wanted to show off a quick video of how I'm going to do uh, lockouts for collectibles for this particular stage. So this is an Alice in Wonderland maze theme toy box. And what I wanted to do was we're collecting cake for the Mad Hatter for his tea party. When I go ahead and accept the quest, it kicks off a couple of things. One is a locator is that's linked to an effects generator. This is called Violet Energy, and it is on a looping effect right now. So that creates a visual effect of that there's magic in our way. This invisible barrier is the blue box that's on the innermost area. That just kind of prevents the player, if they unfreeze, if they fly in or drop down from the top, from being able to get to the cake regardless of being shocked or whatever. Final thing, as I said, for shock effect, uh, this outside barrier actually, when it's triggered, go, uh, shocks the player, and it goes ahead and kicks off the dialogue from our Cheshire Cat here, who tells us kind of what we need to do. So let's go ahead, uh, and this is what the player will see. He'll just see this pulsing energy. He'll go ahead and collect the cake. He'll get shocked. The cat, the, hat, the cat in the hat taunts us and then tells us we have need to activate all the magic suppressors to activate to get to the cake. So now I haven't placed them yet. I still have them kind of in a debug mode area. But these uh, will be the magic suppressors. And we're going to have little indicators to indicate they need to do them. So how this is set up is a series of dual action triggers. Each of these two, we'll call them suppressors. Are linked to one of the two actions for a dual action trigger. Each of these dual action triggers is linked to one of the two actions for this final dual action trigger. So what happens is when all four are activated, this thing can finally kick off. And it should turn off our invisible barrier, our trigger area, our magic effect, and then that should just show to the end user a collectible cake. So let's go ahead and do that. have a visual effect just to make sure that the thing is actually kicking off. There's our party cannon kicking off. So let's go back to the center of the maze. Now this time, go ahead and drop in here and I should be able to come in, not get shocked, and actually pick up the cake. And this will complete the quest. Uh, I'll get some quest completion things going on there. And then when I go back to my quest givers here, the magic, the the, the Mad Hatter, uh, they should be assigning me quest two, which I don't have anything in for right now. So there you go. There's a quick rundown of how I did uh, blocking the users off, forcing them to kind of do some kind of interaction with touch plates or pressure plates, and then allowing them to be able to get the collectible. Hope this was helpful, and go ahead and use use this if you have use for it. Thanks for tuning in.